Hello and welcome to another segment of Western Wisconsin Journal. I'm Jamie Johnson and I'm joined today by Jill Shannon of the St. Croix Valley Foundation. Jill, thanks for joining us on the Thank show. You. Thank you. Well, let's start with uh, first, what is the St. Croix Valley Foundation and what do you do there? Um, I am the Director of Community Partnerships with the St. Croix Valley Foundation and what I do is I oversee the Foundation's community initiatives as well as the grant programs. Some people say I'm the face of the Foundation. What that means is I'm out in the community a lot working with organizations, nonprofits, and local partners. So you facilitate partnerships with uh, local foundations? Local foundations like the Hudson Community Foundation, for example, but we also work with other partners like the Phipps uh, Center for the Arts and a variety of nonprofits in this region. Okay, but you're here today to speak about a specific, very specific project that has kind of has a timeline to it. It's called the Heritage Initiative. Yes. Tell our viewers what is the Heritage Initiative. The Heritage Initiative is a large project. It is a county-wide, excuse me, it is a watershed-wide uh, project and it is a, actually a broad community engagement process where what we want to do is ask our neighbors throughout the watershed, both in Minnesota and Wisconsin, we want to ask them if heritage, if designation as, as a national heritage area is the right thing for our region. So that leads us back to saying, well, what's a heritage area? What is a national heritage area? And a national heritage area is both an area that has been designated by Congress as an area that says something like something, in, something important happened here. This place is significant. That tells us something about how our country developed and how our country came to be. I'm going to assume that out east, maybe in Virginia and some of these places, there's probably a lot of national heritage areas. There are. Right now there's 49 heritage areas across the country and they tell the story of the Civil War, of uh, plantain, plantation agriculture, they tell the stories of uh, the Industrial Revolution and the transformation of our uh, society from an agrarian to an industrial economy. So they tell numerous, numerous stories. And we wonder if our area could tell the story of a variety of, of lumber or whether it could tell the story of the voyageurs or um, immigration, the Swedish immigration and European immigration. There's many stories that our region has to tell that tells us something about what happened in this part of the country, but also part of the nation as well. So this is sounds like a large project, but mm -hmm. you're breaking it down county by county. For instance, Pierce County will have its own workshop. Right, right. And so you're having a countywide workshop, and where is that going to be held? That workshop is going to be held at um, WITC New Richmond on March 10th from 9 o'clock to noon in the morning. And what we want to do at that meeting is begin talking to people to tell them people in, in St. Croix County, our population, our audience is St. Croix County as a whole, um, we want to begin to explain a little bit more to them about what this heritage concept is, what it might mean for our area, what that might mean in terms of economic development, in terms of uh, tourism, in terms of growth of small businesses or environmental conservation programs. It can be translated into a number of different things. The point is, is that it's a group of, we figure out what our stories are, what makes us important, and then we figure out how we can use those stories to leverage our future, how we can use those stories to, to better promote our region, to better build our businesses, to better um, uh, conserve our parks and tell our story through these different ways. Okay, so, so it, um, if people want to know more about the Heritage Initiative, mm -hmm. uh, is there a website they can go to? There's a website, it is www.stcroix.com heritage.org. So St. Croix heritage.org and is the St. Croix uh, completely hyphen, uh, spelled no, out? Completely spelled, no it's S-T-C-R-O-I-X no, no period in no there. No period, nothing, okay. just straight through. So stcroyheritage.org. Right. And they can go there, find out more. Now this March 10th uh, workshop, it's, a, it's being facilitated by um, a group called Creative Community Builders and they are going to be working with uh, the, the participants to begin identifying what makes us distinctive. What are the qualities, what are the cultural traditions, what are the stories, what are the places that make, in this case, St. Croix County distinctive. 
and we're going to do that county by county by county and amass this huge amount of information from which we're going to find, oh, here are the common stories that we share, the stories that connect Hudson to Stillwater to Cable to Sandstone, Minnesota. And with those identifying those larger stories, then that gives us a bigger story to tell that um, we can all connect to and we can all promote. And really with that, promote some very large projects, which we hope will come out of this. All right, so uh, people should try to attend if they can. What can the we community would, do if they're not available to attend? What else might they be able to do? Oh, well, we would love them to attend because everyone has their stories and their history that they can bring to this. Um, but if they can't attend, then we have set up our website to be an interactive website where that people can uh, contribute stories, can contribute photos, can contribute um, their interpretation of what makes us distinctive. And all of that will be part of the overall process of that we try to make some sense out of. Well, very good. So the conference itself is just going to be in the morning? Yes. On the 10th? It's not an all-day thing? It's, this one is going to be a half-day workshop, and then we are going to be doing these workshops throughout the watershed uh, between now and May or June. And then we'll come back next September and August and then move into the next phase where we have a whole another task that's going to be focusing on strategies perhaps that we so might So the pursue. workshop is an early step in the process yep. and uh, St. Croix just happens to be one of the first ones having a workshop. There. Yep. So we'll, uh, this will be at the WITC, the Cashman Conference Center, which is located at 1019 South Knowles Avenue. It's on the south end of New Richmond, this correct? Is, yes. Uh, most people know where the WITC is, they should be able to, to find this. Yes. Um, and again, it's sponsored by the St. Croix Valley Foundation and the Hudson Community Foundation. Is this right? event, yes, Hudson Community Foundation is working with us to facilitate this event. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming and hopefully uh, people can get the word out that if they can attend um, and others that they know are interested in history, tourism, and similar subjects, they should try to attend and get their comments in there. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. And good luck with trying to get as much participation as possible for this event. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us for another segment of Western Wisconsin Journal and learning more about our community and the prospects for the future.